Hello, my name is Tomasz Jaszek and in this video I will talk about a solution to the Coder of Riga challenge powered by Codility. In this challenge we are given a matrix of size 3x3 filled with numbers. Our task is to produce a new matrix using as few increments as possible in which the sum of values in all rows and in all columns is the same. Let's analyze some example. Here we have a matrix in which the sum of values in subsequent rows are 5, 6 and 4 and the sum of values in uh, the columns are 4, 6 and 5. It's easy to see that it's always possible to increment values in the matrix in such a way that the sum in the rows and the columns is the same. For instance, we can find the maximal element in the matrix and increment all the elements to this value. In this example, we would increment everything to 4 and the sum of rows and columns would be 12. But this solution is not optimal since it requires way too much incrementations. A better solution is to increment twice the 0 in the last row, so it becomes 2, and the sum in the last row uh, increases to 6 and in the first column also. And also increment the 3 in the first row to 4. So the sum of the first row and the last column increases to 6. This way we use only 3 increments to create a matrix in which every row and every column has a sum of 6. Of course, a question arises: did we use the smallest possible number of increments as possible? The answer to this question is positive and we can prove it uh, by observing that in the original matrix we already have a row and a column uh, whose sum was equal to 6. Since we cannot decrement any value, the resulting matrix would also need to have the sum of rows and columns at least 6. So the matrix with sum equal to 6 is in fact the best we can do. So if we take the sums of all rows and sums of all columns in the original matrix and denote the maximal of such values as m, then we know that the lower bound of the number of increments needed is 3 times m minus the total sum of uh, elements in the original matrix. So the next question is, is it always possible to achieve this lower bound? Surprisingly, the answer to this question is also positive and we can show it with an easy algorithm. Observe that if it's not true that the sum of values in all rows and columns in the matrix is the same, then the total sum of elements in the matrix is smaller than 3m, so there will be some row in which the sum is smaller than m and there will be some column in which the sum is smaller than m. Then we consider the element on the intersection of this row and column. By incrementing this element, we are only incrementing the sum of its row and the sum of its column. And as long as both of these sums are smaller than m, we can continue incrementing this element. We stop when one or both of these sums became equal to m, and then we cannot increment this element anymore. Then we continue by finding another row with sum smaller than m and another column. And we keep incrementing the values. Finally, we'll find such element that after incrementing it, all the sums will be equal to m. Since, as we said before, after incrementing an element as much as possible, the sum of its row or column increments to m, and we don't have to test this element anymore, so in fact every element in the matrix must be tested only once. So in fact, in this solution, rather than finding the next row and column with sums smaller than m, we can iterate over all elements in the matrix and for all elements try to increment it as much as possible. Since we have only 9 elements in the matrix, the overall solution will work in constant time. I think we are ready for the implementation. 
First, I will define the constant for the size of the matrix and two helper functions for summing elements in the rows and columns. Um, so I will sum all elements in the row number i. And the similar function will sum all the elements in column number i. Okay, now we will calculate the maximum uh, sum in all rows and columns. So we will iterate over them and we will take the maximum over current value of m and the sum of eth row and sum of eth column. So now the value of m is uh, correctly calculated. And uh, now the main algorithm. So we will iterate over all uh, elements uh, in the matrix. So we will have a double loop. So first we will see how much we can increment uh, the value uh, of the element in the if row and jth column. So we will need to sum the uh, of this row and the sum of this column. And actually we will need the maximal value. And uh, the difference between the value m and the maximal uh, of this value is how much we can uh, how much we can increment uh, this element. So we will just do exactly this. And we can just return uh, the new uh, matrix A. Okay, run test cases. Uh, they pass correctly, and this solution will get full score when uh, tested by Codality servers.